Gym, baby. Okay, mining of minerals. This has to do with the extraction of valuable minerals or other geological materials from the earth. From the earth. Now, extraction of rocks and minerals from the earth. We look at uh, two methods. So, method of extracting, we have the surface mining, uh, which is a form of mining in which the soil and the rock covering the minerals deposit are removed. And this is done when the um, mineral is found close to the surface. Now, the types of surface mining are open cast, open pit, open cut, and strip mining. So, you don't need to really stress yourself about this. Just know this type. In the exam, you'll be given a diagram and be asked to identify the type, and you'll be asked to describe the method of exploring the minerals. Now, you look at this diagram clearly. This is a surface mining taking place. Now, so you can just identify open cast, open pit, open cut, surface mining. You still get your mark. Now, steps involved in open cast mining. First, the vegetation is removed and the topsoil is cleared. This will not lead to, this lead to destruction of habitats. Take note of that and loss of biodiversity. So, in case you are asked what is the impact of, of um, extraction of minerals, that, that is one. Because if you have to clear the vegetation and the topsoil, if you are exposing the soil to erosion and you are also destroying a Reduce, re, reducing the biodiversity that is, that is within that area. Now, the rocks are broke and cut using an explosive. So, you use explosive to break down the rocks. Then, you use diggers, are uh, used to remove the loose rocks. The rocks are carried in trucks and railway slash railway water. So, this is more like the steps. So, first, the vegetation is removed and the topsoil is cleared. Once that is done, the rocks are broken and cut using explosive. You can see how, how it's done. Vroom. Vroom. Then, three, the daggers are used to remove the loose materials and the rocks are carried in trucks slash railway wagons for to where it will be processed. Now, we now have subsurface mining. Now, it's a mining. Mining is carried out when rock minerals or precious stones are located at a distance far beneath the ground to be extracted with surface mining so it is far beneath the ground that it will be very difficult for you to use surface mining to extract it so in that case you now use subsurface mining and these types of subsurface mining include the deep mining and also shaft mining it include deep mining and shaft mining so with that, let's look at the steps involved in underground or uh, subsurface mining. Now, first, sinking a vertical shaft down to the rock containing minerals. So, you sink a shaft down to the rocks, look at the shaft mine, containing minerals. Now, horizontal tunnel are dug down to the mineral layer. You dig an horizontal tunnel here, down to where the mineral is found. Now, the loose rocks is brought from the mine and piled up on the surface so once you get the mineral you now put it in in this case there is an elevator that will take the mineral out to the surface now the mineral are then transported once you get to the surface it will be transported for processing you need to know those steps now some uses of different rocks here we have gravel gravel is used for making concrete uh, which is a major building materials then we have chalk which is used to manufacture cement chalk and limestone used to manufacture cement and we have sandstone which is used for making glass it's used for making glass then we have granite for construction so these two then we have clay which is used in making sand it's used in making sand also for construction purpose now factors that affect the decision to extract rocks and minerals will be the next part that we'll look at for environmental management um, part three so please subscribe so you always get uh, a feedback notice uh, every time i upload uh, a video so this will be the part three and the last part of the video we'll look at factors that affect decision to extract minerals and also we'll look at how 
to make our mineral extraction sustainable. Okay, sorry. Yeah. 